bitch. Hey, tell them made in the house, a pity legend. Brighten up your day, drop by for a while. Now that we about to slay, I'll be sure to help you smile, help you through your tough days. Let us break bread together, discuss ways how to be effective, be life changes, capture our blessings one day at a time. Later, let's go and share our fantastic lessons. Hey, now pay it forward, changing people's lives with one act of random kindness. Hey, it's time for a roll call. Who's beside us? Who was with me? I need to hit you holler. Holler if you hit me, holler if you hit me. Holler if you hit me, holler, holler if you hear me. Holler if you hit me, holler if you hear me. Hey, 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 my life changes. How you doing? How you be? This is your girl, Penny Legend. I am back with a Friday night date night treat for you. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I truly thank you for uh, blessing us with a beautiful day, a day filled with possibilities and opportunities, Father. Father, I just thank you that we are in the last month of the year of 2022, and you have kept us from January until today, and we are eternally grateful. Father, I ask that you would just bless this food, and you bless the establishment that provided the food, that you would pour into that establishment a hundredfold, and that you would keep all the workers safe, Father, and that they will not go out of business due to the situation that's going on. Father, I tell you that your uh, people are in desperate need of you, God. So I ask that you would just show up and show out like you always do. And we'll be so careful to give you all the praise and all the glory. In your name we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Today, we are doing a review on, um, what is it called, son? Spice Kitchen. Spice Kitchen on Rhode Island Avenue in Brentwood, Maryland. Um, today I have, uh, is a treat from my son. I tell you, if you, God command, if you raise them up, they will be raised, be, uh, raised up and call you blessed. And, and he has been doing such an exceptional job taking care of his mom. So this is a treat for my date night. My son gave me shrimp and this is chicken. Uh, this is a West African um, restaurant. And I have jollof rice and I have fried plantain and I have cram mango from Ocean Spread. And I have this sweet, you said this is a sweet honey sauce? Spicy honey sauce. You can tell who did the ordering. I'm just doing the eating. So let us eat. Let us. Uh, we're going to give an honest a review. Life changes. So how you been? I know I haven't been uh, on here being consistent, but your girl been going through a lot of. You know, we got life issues that we go through. So going through a lot of doctor's appointments. Been tired going into work two days out of week because they returned us back to work two days out of week. And the commute a lot of times do me in due to uh, the current um, situation that's going on with me. But anyway, I'm back and I'm going to give come to y'all as often as I can. There are several series that I've been talking to my planning team about. I know one of them is going to be doing, starting on Friday, doing Freedom Friday. You say, Penny Legend, what are you talking about? Well, there's so much going on that we just got to come together as a people and, and talk about stuff because you never know. A lot of people don't have an outlet or a place they can go or feel comfortable talking with people. And a lot of times, sometimes it's easier to talk to a stranger than it is to a, to a loved one. Because a stranger really don't know you. They have no judgment or they should not have no judgment towards you because they don't know you. And so in my prayer and devotion time, there's been a lot of things God has been talking to me about that I, I just want to be a positive force on these YouTube streets, motivating and empowering people that we can do anything we put our mind to. All we just got to believe if you believe, you can achieve. It starts right here. Mm. So far, everything is delicious. I know my son is surprised to hear that because he... <laughs> 
We have visited several places. She said you couldn't find nothing good about them. But the plantains is very, very, very good. You taste them? Plantains is very good. They get a plus. The jollof rice is not too spicy for me. I need to go over and eat the meat and stop eating all this. I like the shrimp. Here you go, life changes. Y'all can have. Y'all want, it's two, so you take one and I take one. Okay? Okay. See, I don't mind sharing. Sharing is caring. Mmm. 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 The shrimp got some spice on them, but it's nothing I can't tolerate. And it's, it's good. It's good. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all know I get my disclaimer up front. I don't know how much I'm going to eat, but I'm going to do my best. But back to my Freedom Friday. Mm. I love when stuff is well seasoned. I don't like no bland tail food. But anyway, in my prayer and devotion time, God was just saying, why don't you just talk to them about freeing itself? So I came up with Freedom Friday. So my question I pose to you, what do you need to be free from? And what's holding you captive to that thing or that, that person, whatever it is. There's nothing that has control over you unless you allow it to have control over you. The only thing or the only person that you should want to be controlling you is, is your heavenly father or your spiritual source, whoever it may be. Because they're controlling, guiding you the way you're supposed to go, that you won't, dis you won't stray away. And that's a different type of control. They ain't going to arm, it was with a strong arm, you like, you're talking about control like a abusive person in the relationship. Yeah, that's not what I'm talking about. Control you are, maybe I, maybe control is just a harsh word. Or direct you, or nurture you, or, or train you, or whatever a better word than control you want to use. They just want to come and help you. Be the best version of you that you can. That's the only person you want to listen to. Worst thing you can do is keep going running to your friends and telling them all about your business, whatever and they ain't do. And you seen the first time they ain't did nothing to help you in that current situation that you was in before. I meant your previous situation. So what makes you think they're gonna help you in your current situation? Oh, a lot of times, a lot of times, people chicken is delicious too. So overall, but there so far, everything is delicious. Thank you. Get to it. So overall, ain't no use of you sitting around telling all everybody your business. Unless you know 
that they can actually help change your current situation. For example, I remember years ago, the place I used to work, they would want to come in the lunchroom and and start talking. But I'm gonna tell you something about Penny Legend. A lot of times I didn't sit, I didn't sit in the lunchroom and a young lady asked me why. I just told her my, sometimes my spirit don't, I don't feel like hearing all the gossip. And cause like I told that young lady, I got enough of my own life problems. I don't need to keep hearing nobody else problems that I can't do nothing about. So a lot of times, Cause we had several floors with different kitchenettes, so a lot of times I would go up to a higher floor, not the floor that my office on, or just sit at my desk. Majority of the time I'm sitting at my desk. Because sometimes when I go to other floors, there's people there too. And y'all have to excuse me because I done told God, I said sometimes I get sick of your humans that you put down here on this earth. Y'all might not, but I do. Cause they get on my nerves. I'm just being real. Yep, so. They was on, um, they were coming to lunch room. And stop murmuring and complaining. It was at that time. Well, morale is still low. But this is at a time when they had me on, uh, <clears throat> they call it an employee, 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 employer engagement um, team. And the purpose of the team was to discuss ways to improve the morale, you know, with the employees, being that we were employed, they feel that we had, we can go back to our office and talk to other employees and get other, you know, input from them, how we can improve, you know, situation, how manager, how management can make things better. And let me tell you what's wrong with that picture. First of all, nothing came of that um, of that um, team that they put us on. Matter of fact, we only had like one or two meetings. And nothing came of it. So, Funny thing about it, fast forward, I think it was last month or might have been a couple of weeks back. Might have been the beginning of November, if I, if I beginning of that first week. They had, um, This chicken is good. They had a, a all hands meeting. That's what they call it, all hands meeting. And guess what it was about? It was about boosting the employee morale throughout the agency. <laughs> now they done got a task force called the Employee Engagement Task Force. <laughs> they come out with ideas on how to boost the morale. Now my problem with that is, they had one with us. Now they have one with, now their team, 
their task team is of the managers. So, of course, when we got back to our office, people began to talk. Actually, I was actually teleworking that day. Of course, my phone started ringing. Everybody want to know what you think about the meeting. I said, what you mean, what do I think about it? What do you think about the meeting? Because, you know me, I'm always, I'm always pushing it back. Because if you're calling, you're calling me for a reason. To, uh, first of all, I m mainly believe they're calling to signify. And then, uh, they said, if you have any questions or what you call, let us know. Uh, oh, Secondly, they're coming to get my information. But they always want to say, Shilla said, Shilla said, or Shilla, would you go on uh, the site they talk about and put it up there? I said, no, like I tell them, they have a mouth too. Everybody see like they're scared. And one thing my dad told me that uh, if a man put on his pants just like you put on, a, on, on your pants, what are you fearing? So I don't fear no man outside of God. I don't. I mean... You respect me, and I'm going to respect you. I know men got more strong and whatever, but I'm still not fearing him. Whatever he's going to do, he's going to do. Bottom line. But my thing is, so they begin to ask me, what do you think about, I got, I got a couple of phone calls. Ask me what I feel about the meeting. I say it's going to be what it's going to be. I said the only reason why it actually came to par See, I always like to put people back into remembrance and have them, I always tell them to do their research and also check the source. I said, do you remember that thing that came out in the Washington Post not too long ago? Mm-hmm. I said, you always need to check the timing of what people are doing and why they're doing what they do. I okay, said, so now they took one one big person out of a position. And the new person they put in the position, I guess he's going to come and try to make everything right with the employees that probably went and blew the whistle. So now you're trying to boost morale. But before, when you had the employee engagement group with us in it, you didn't really do nothing. Now they got all the way up. The, the ladder, now you want to do something. But my problem with that is like when my supervisor, came, my branch chief came around and talked to me, I said, there's no trust there. And I said, the people have lost their trust in management. And so nothing they say out of these things call our lips. They word mean nothing. If I don't tell you nothing else, your word should be bond. Your word is your character. Whatever you say, you should be able to back it up. So that's my problem. I only trust the man that I work for. Because before my other person left, he told me he didn't want the position. Then you wind up in the position. What happened? See, I don't, I don't deal with lying. Be truthful. But anyway... We can move past that. I'm just saying, you got to free yourself up, y'all. The bottom line, I can go on and on about situations that I ask God to free me from in my work establishment. Not only my work establishment, in my health, in my home, in my daily walk with him. There's so much going on. There's so much that's weighing us down that we need to be free from. But like I always tell you, if you don't have a spiritual source, I don't care who it may be. Now, I'm coming to tell you about the Christ, the Lord that made me. That's the best man I know that can help you. But I don't impose him on everybody because my father is a gentleman. He's not going to come against your will. So I come on here every time to present him to you, not to force feed you. 
I, I'll get on here and tell you about the goodness of God in the land of the living in my life. How he kept me. That's all I do. Because that's what he commanded me to do. He said, you get on this uh, uh, a channel and tell them about the Lord that made you. And that's my name. Tell or made. T-E-L-L-L-O-R-D. M-A-D-E. Tell or made. So I try to tell you and try to help you every area I can. I might not be as flamboyant or fashy as the other channels. That's not my assignment. I don't do all those challenges. I try to bring some of the challenge, but I'm also bringing the word. I'm also bringing life-changing uh, uh, empowerment. Because nobody want to stay stuck. For what? We want to be elevating. You should be elevating. You shouldn't want to stay stuck in the same old place you are. They tell me water that don't move starts to stinking after a while. And something that you leave there unattended for a while do start to have an odor. So we don't want that. We don't want that. We want to be effective and efficient life changes. Changes people's lives by one act around the kindness. Truly, that is all that it takes. Y'all? And that is it. I want y'all to be freed up. In your spirit, man. In your emotional, in your physical, your mental, your spiritual being. I want you to be free. I don't want you to be bound. Because if you're bound, you can't be the effective and efficient life changer that God wants you to be. You got work to do. So you need to get rid of all the things that hold you down. If it's not going to bless you, if it's bringing a curse towards you, cut it off. I remember when God had to put me back together again from dealing with situation, all hell breaking loose, my health, sorry tale relationships, all kinds of stuff going on. Hear me. Situation that tried to break me, but they didn't know that God made me, so they can't break me. Because he put a, 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 a provision in my life that I shall always win. He promised to give me a way of escape. He promised to be my shepherd that I shall not want. He said that if the enemy come against me, he'll raise up a standard. He said if they try to put, uh, you know, to put a weapon against me, he said no weapon formed against me shall prosper. He said every tongue that rises up against me in judgment, thou shall condemn. See, I don't have to fight my battle. All I have to do is pray to my heavenly father. And I trust him like never before. I'm telling you, I get on here because I asked him at an early age when I got saved in college. To make my life a living testimony of his goodness. So this world can see his work through me. That's the only scripture I knew. So I'm telling you, I want you to be free on this Freedom Friday. That is my prayer and desire for each and every one of y'all that view this video. I want you to be free and live free and live your life to the fullness. The situation we got going on now don't have no control over you. We serve the true and living God. We don't fear that. We're walking in total victory this day, this evening. Total victory. No longer bound. 
I feel it in my spirit, y'all. God told me to get on here and tell you, freedom is yours if you want it. All you got to do is walk it out. The young folks, excuse me, the young folks say walk it like you're talking. Or talk it like you're walking, whatever that song is. I be hearing my grandbaby, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how it go. Y'all know. The ones that listen to, I tried to listen to it because I was a Sunday school teacher. So you got to be relevant to the youth. So I tried to listen to some of it that is clean. Because I I don't like that cursing in my ears. It goes in my spirit. I don't like that. So, but I tried to be relevant to the youth. So I tried to listen to some of their music to try to see where they're coming from. And I also, you know, uh, engage in conversations with them because that's another thing. And I'm going to get out of your head. A lot of us parents. Yes, I'm always say us. Because I'm always first partake of anything that I have to say out of my mouth. A lot of us parents are busy trying to be friends and not being parents. We're trying to, to, to get them to like us. But not raising them. And that's not a good thing. Because if you don't train them up in the way they should go, when they get older, they're going to depart. Because the word of God said, train them up in the way they should go and they should never depart. They might stray a little bit, but they're going to eventually realize what mama and dad have installed inside of them. You put that word, you put that seed inside of them, that seed going to grow. You put the, the word of life in them, it's going to grow. You teach them to be uh, 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 entrepreneurs, business persons, or if they happen to be out there in the real world, work, teach them what it is to be going in that work and be the best that you can be. Because it ain't about that supervisor. It ain't even about that. It's about who you are. Wherever I step, I'm stepping in excellence. That's who I am. It ain't got nothing to do about anybody else. It's who I am. I am excellent. My father said, I'm royalty. So wherever I put my feet, I'm going to give 100% or I'm not going to do it. That's why it bothers me a lot when I can't be here. Because I know that he told me to tell y'all about the Lord that made me. See, I'm, I, it's, I'm, it's getting heavy for me, so I'm going to get off this uh, video right now. So I want you all to have a blessed, wonderful weekend and love on someone and do what puts a smile on your face and live life to the fullest. And remember, God loved you first. And so do this woman right here, Penny Legend. I love you with my whole heart. And I want you to win and be free on Freedom Friday. Bye-bye, y'all. Love you.